Okay, I know what you're thinking. Another AI tutorial that promises consistent characters, but totally doesn't deliver, right? Trust me, girl, I've been there. I've watched literally dozens of these videos and they all show the same basic prompting techniques that barely work. It's honestly so frustrating. But here's the thing, I'm not here to waste your precious time with boring theory that doesn't actually help you. I'm here to give you a tour of the one platform that actually solves this problem, and I'm so excited to prove it works by creating absolutely perfect characters live on screen right now. If this doesn't work exactly as I show you, please call me out in the comments. Seriously, I want you to hold me accountable because I'm that confident this is going to blow your mind. You've probably tried all the things, the describe everything in detail method, saving seeds, uploading reference images, all the stuff that's supposed to work but leaves you with five completely different faces every single time. I used to do this too, and honestly, it was so annoying. This isn't about better prompts, prompt engineering, or any of those techniques that fail like 80% of the time. We're done with all that. I'm so confident this actually works that I'm doing everything live on screen. No cherry-picked results, just raw generation in real time so you can see exactly how this magic happens. You know that super frustrating moment when you spend forever describing your dream character? hit generate and get someone who looks completely different every single time? Yeah, I've totally been there too, babe. It's honestly so disappointing when you're trying to build a brand or tell a captivating story and your main character keeps morphing into random people. Like, how are we supposed to create anything cohesive and stunning like this? But there's something most creators completely miss about character consistency that changes absolutely everything. The problem isn't your prompting skills or how detailed your descriptions are, hun. The problem is that regular AI generators treat every single prompt like it's brand new. They have zero memory of what you created before. This matters so much because inconsistent characters immediately scream amateur to your audience, and we definitely don't want that vibe. When your hero looks different in every scene, viewers lose that emotional connection that keeps them coming back for more content. Without consistent characters, you're basically starting from scratch with every piece of content you create. You can't build those amazing series that people get absolutely obsessed with. And honestly, you're missing out on creating that recognizable visual brand that makes you stand out in the prettiest way. So here's what open art actually does. And this honestly blew my mind completely. It uses specialized AI technology that learns and locks in your character's unique features from the very beginning. While other platforms forget what they just made, OpenArt remembers everything. Same gorgeous face, same beautiful style every single generation. And get this, they launched something called Flux Context, which is literally the ultimate all-in-one model for AI image creation. This new model does everything, text to image, image editing, style transfer, consistent characters, and even local edits, all in one incredible system. It's so perfect for maintaining that flawless consistency we've been dreaming of. Let me show you exactly how this works, and I'm going to walk you through three different methods depending on what you're starting with. But first, let me just quickly explain why this technology is so revolutionary and amazing. Unlike those basic AI generators that treat each prompt as completely separate, OpenArt uses advanced feature recognition to identify what makes your character uniquely beautiful. It saves things like face shape, eye color, hairstyle, even signature clothing pieces, all the little details that make them special. The system learns these features and maintains them across every generation, even when you place your character in completely different scenes and scenarios. So basically, manual prompting wastes your precious time and gives you different faces every time. Custom model training takes weeks and still doesn't guarantee perfect results. Nobody's got time for that, babe. But OpenArt locks your character's identity from day one with the same gorgeous features every single generation. When you see it like this, the choice becomes pretty obvious, right girl? Now let me show you the three methods OpenArt gives you for creating these consistent characters because each one serves a different purpose and they're all incredibly powerful and beautiful. The first method is perfect if you have a clear vision in your mind, but no reference images yet, creating a character from just a text description. To use this approach, you'll navigate to open art storytelling mode, select consistent character, then choose start with description. 
From there, you'll write out your character description, pick your style, and let the AI create preview options for you to choose from. Now here's something super important about writing effective descriptions, and this honestly makes such a huge difference in your gorgeous results. Don't just say generic things like tall woman with brown hair. Instead, be incredibly specific about every detail. Mention her exact height, build, facial features, clothing style, even personality traits that might show in her expression. Let me give you an example that creates absolutely stunning results. A creative entrepreneur in her late 20s with gorgeous olive skin and shoulder-length wavy auburn hair that has the prettiest natural highlights. She wears a vintage denim jacket over a cute white crop top delicate gold-layered necklaces, and has this confident yet sweet expression with bright hazel eyes and a genuine smile. She gives off major girl boss vibes, but in the most approachable way. The AI can work with those specific details to create someone truly gorgeous and memorable. The second method, and honestly, this is my absolute favorite, is creating a character from a single reference image. This approach is incredibly powerful because you can take any image you love and turn it into a fully consistent character model. Whether it's a photo, AI-generated image, or even artwork, open art can learn from just that one reference. To use this method, select consistent character, choose start with one image, give your character a name, upload your reference, and click create character. What's absolutely insane is that most AI tools require dozens of training images, but OpenArt creates amazing consistency from literally just one image. When selecting your reference image, front-facing or three-quarter view shots work best because they give the AI clear information about facial features. Make sure your image has good lighting and detail. Blurry or dark images will give you less consistent results, and we want everything to look absolutely perfect. The third method offers maximum control and is perfect for when you really want to nail every single gorgeous detail, using multiple images to train your character. For this approach, you'll select start with four plus images. Upload at least four high-quality photos showing different angles and expressions, add your character's name, and let open art work its magic. When choosing multiple images, I recommend including different angles like front view, profile, and three-quarter shots. Show various expressions so the AI understands how your character's face moves and changes beautifully. Include both close-ups for facial details and full-body shots for overall appearance. Try to keep lighting consistent across your images and use photos with similar artistic styles for the most stunning results. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the single image method with this gorgeous reference photo, and I'll name my character Sophia. Once you submit your character for creation using any of these methods, OpenArt needs about 5 to 10 minutes to process everything. During this time, the system is analyzing all your character's unique features and creating a specialized model that can reproduce them consistently. The technology that's happening behind the scenes here is absolutely amazing. Once processing is complete, you'll get a notification and your character appears in your library ready to use. Now you have this reusable asset that you can use across unlimited projects without ever starting from scratch again. Pretty amazing, right, babe? So to start creating with your character, simply click Create, write a prompt that includes your character's name, adjust your settings, and hit Generate. But here's where it gets really exciting. There are specific settings that can dramatically improve your beautiful results, and most creators completely overlook these. The first setting that's absolutely crucial is character weight. This controls how strongly your character's features are preserved in each generation. Think of it like a consistency slider. At higher values like 0.8 or 0.9, which I typically recommend, your character's features stay super consistent and gorgeous. At lower values, the AI has more creative freedom, but you might lose some consistency. If you notice your character starting to drift or look different, increase this value, hun. If they seem too rigid in different poses, lower it slightly. Next is the Preserve Key Features toggle. When this is turned on, your character maintains their signature look, including clothing and hairstyle. This is perfect for brand characters or series where you want maximum consistency and that polished aesthetic. When it's off, your character's face stays the same, but the AI has more freedom with outfits and styling. This is great when you want to show the same person in different clothes or situations. Let me show you exactly how this works with Sophia. With preserve key features on, I'll prompt Sophia in a cute summer outfit, 
poolside vibes, sunny day, relaxed and happy. Even though I specifically asked for a summer outfit, it doesn't give me the full image I want. She still has her sweater on, no matter the outfit you ask for. This is because the AI prioritizes consistency with her established look. Now I'll turn the toggle off and use the exact same prompt. This time Sophia appears in a cute summer outfit as requested, while keeping her beautiful facial features and overall appearance. She's clearly the same person, but with the styling flexibility I wanted. Absolutely perfect. Your prompt structure also makes a huge difference in getting gorgeous results. Always start your prompt with your character's name. This tells the system to use your character model. Then be specific about pose, expression, and environment. Instead of saying Sophia outdoors, try Sophia having a picnic in a meadow, golden hour lighting, wind gently playing with her hair, Genuine laugh, dreamy aesthetic, film photography vibes. The more guidance you provide, the better the AI understands your vision while maintaining perfect character consistency. Now, once you've got basic generation down, you'll probably want to get more creative with poses and positioning. This is where OpenArt's Pose Editor becomes absolutely incredible. To access this feature, go to Character Creation and click Pose Your Character. This opens up this amazing 3D interface where you can position your character exactly how you want. First, select a base model that matches your character's body type. OpenArt offers different options, including athletic, standard, and stylized builds. You can start with preset poses or create completely custom positions using the control points. Every joint can be adjusted. Head angle, arm position, leg stance, even camera perspective. Let me create a specific pose for Sophia. I want her chilling on her yard, leaning against her vintage red car. I'll start with a leaning preset and then adjust the arm position, head angle, and overall posture until it matches my vision perfectly. This level of control is honestly incredible because instead of trying to describe complex poses in text, you can show the AI exactly what you want. Once your pose is perfect, click Update Pose and write a prompt that includes both your character and the scene context. Sophia leaning against her vintage red car parked in her garage. Thoughtful but happy expression, dreamy atmosphere, soft natural lighting. Look at this result. Sophia appears in exactly the pose I designed, perfectly integrated into the scene I described. Her features are completely consistent, and the pose looks totally natural and gorgeous. The pose editor has a bit of a learning curve, but spending time practicing with it will dramatically elevate your character images. Start with simple adjustments to presets before attempting fully custom poses. Sometimes after generating images, you'll notice small details you want to adjust or improve. OpenArt has incredible editing tools that let you refine your character without regenerating everything. These tools can honestly save you so much time and help you achieve the exact beautiful results you have in mind. Let me show you how I use these with Sophia. I've generated this beautiful image, but I notice her facial expression could be more detailed. First, I'll use the Enhance Face option. This improves facial details while keeping her identity perfectly intact. I'll select this tool, draw a mask over Sophia's face, and click Generate. Open Art processes just this area enhancing the details while ensuring she still looks exactly like Sophia. The result is a much more expressive and detailed face. Absolutely stunning. Another thing you can do is fix the hands. Hand anatomy is notoriously difficult for AI, and this tool is specifically designed to solve that problem. In most of my generations with open art, I've almost never had a problematic hand. But in any case, here's how you fix it. I'll select correct hands, mask the problematic area, and generate. You can also modify facial expressions using the Change Expression tool. I'll select Wink. Her expression changes completely while her features remain exactly the same. It's honestly so cool how precise this is. Beyond the People Editor, in-painting is incredibly powerful for customizing beautiful details. Maybe Sophia's jacket needs more texture or I want to add specific accessories. I can draw over just this area and prompt add delicate embroidered florals on her sweater. Only this specific area changes while everything else stays exactly the same. If there's an unwanted object anywhere in the photo, the Remove tool makes it disappear seamlessly. I'll select Remove, draw over this other ring, and OpenArt fills in the appropriate content. These editing capabilities mean you never have to settle for almost perfect results. 
you can make targeted improvements to get exactly what you envision. One of the most exciting features is OpenArt's integration with video generation technology. You can take your static character images and bring them to life with realistic movement and cinematic camera effects. And here's something incredible. They just integrated Kling 2.1, which has sharper prompt alignment, super fast generation, and smooth cinematic camera motion with no more static videos. Plus, VO3 is already integrated for even more video options. After generating an image I love, I'll click Image to Video at the top of the interface. This opens the animation settings where I can control how my static image transforms into video. I need to write a prompt describing the camera movement and action I want. For Sophia leaning on her vintage car, I'll write, Gentle camera movement around Sophia. Natural hair movement in the breeze. Soft ambient lighting, dreamy cinematic quality, smooth romantic motion. I'll select five seconds for duration and choose pro for quality. The result is absolutely incredible. Sophia comes to life with natural movement that maintains her character consistency throughout the entire video. The quality of your animation depends heavily on your prompt, so be specific about camera movement and environmental elements. Instead of just saying camera moves, specify exactly how. Camera slowly orbits around character or camera pushes in focusing on character's expression. Describe environmental details like wind gently moves hair and clothing, or leaves flutter in background to add life without complex character animation. While the animation technology is impressive, there are some limitations to keep in mind, hun. Character poses remain relatively fixed, so you won't see complex movements like walking or dancing from a single image. Animations work best for subtle movements, environmental effects, and camera work rather than dramatic character action. I've honestly tested every AI platform out there for character consistency, and nothing comes close to OpenArt's combination of ease, quality, and reliability. With their new Flux Context model and updated Kling 2.1 integration, the results are absolutely incredible. The results speak for themselves. This is the tool that actually delivers on the promise of consistent characters. And here's something super exciting. They now have team plans available. If you're working with a team or want to share assets, models, and characters with others, you can now get team plans too. I've put a link in the description for OpenArt so you can try all of this out yourself. It's incredible how creating consistent characters used to be this complex technical challenge that only big studios could solve. But OpenArt has made this accessible to anyone with a creative vision. One image, 10 minutes, and unlimited beautiful possibilities. Your next step is where this stuff actually gets exciting. Pick one character concept you absolutely love, find or create a reference image, and follow the exact process I just showed you. Feel free to watch this video back as many times as you need. Start simple, get comfortable with the workflow, then experiment with the pose editor and video features. The content possibilities are literally endless, and I cannot wait to see what amazing creations you bring to life with this incredible technology. Let me know in the comments what kind of characters you're planning on creating, hun. Thanks for watching Beautiful, and I'll see you in the next one.